Inga mana, inga reo, inga iwi o ngā hoeifa. Tēnei aku mihi mahana ki a koutou. Kia ora tātou katoa. No mai haere mai ki ototahi. I specifically acknowledge Superintendent John Price, District Commander of New Zealand Police, a kuia Ranui Narimu, a kumatua Joe Harawera. Tēnā koutou. And I offer a very special welcome to today's honour recipients. It's a pleasure to host this investiture ceremony and bring together 11 honour recipients along with their family and friends to recognise the contributions they've made to our country. As Governor General, I have the authority and the privilege on behalf of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of New Zealand, to hold investitures for her and to confer royal honours, our nation's highest honours, on individuals who've made significant, exceptional contributions to their communities <coughs> and to our nation. Hosting an investiture ceremony is one of the most important duties I perform as Governor-General, as it enables me to recognise and thank them on behalf of all New Zealanders for helping to make Aotearoa New Zealand a better place to live. Some recipients have a national public profile, others will be well known in their own communities. But what they have in common is the positive impact they've had on the economic, environmental, social or cultural well-being of our nation. I hope this will be a memorable day for you and for your family colleagues and friends who've come to witness your investiture and celebrate with you. This is also a significant day for me, as this is the very last investiture ceremony that I will hold. My term as Governor-General comes to an end on September 28th this year. Investitures have been a real highlight of my term, and they're immensely rewarding because I'm able to recognise Royal Honour recipients for their dedication and wonderful contributions to our nation. Ladies and gentlemen, as each uh, recipient comes forward, I invite you to join me in uh, recognising them and congratulating them for their service to our country. And now Catriona McLeod will read citation for each recipient and invite them to come forward and receive their insignia. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a Companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mr. Mike Hamilton of Christchurch for services to marine engineering and business. Mike Hamilton has made a significant contribution to the economy as head of Hamilton Jet, one of the world's biggest water jet manufacturing companies. In 1990, he designed a new generation of water jet, far larger than anything to date, which was a leap forward for CWF, Hamilton & Co's capability to compete for water jet propulsion packages in ships traditionally driven by propellers. His contribution saw the emergence of specialist fleets of jet-powered vessels in markets such as tourism, aquaculture, offshore oil fields, patrol, wind farms, search and rescue, and passenger ferries. Privately, he supports many charitable causes and supports children through Child Fund and the Variety Club. Mr. Hamilton was one of the lead jet boat drivers and the boat engineer for Sir Edmund Hillary's 1977 Ocean to the Sky expedition. Mr. Mike Hamilton, please come forward.
Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Dr. Colin Merck of Christchurch, for services to ecological restoration. Dr. Colin Merck was a landscape ecologist for what is now Manaki Fenua Land Care Research, helping design, plan, and implement greening Waipara, integrating biodiversity and ecosystem services into a wine-growing cultural landscape. He co-developed the landscape model that drives many catchment scale restoration plans. He helped obtain reserve status for Travis Wetland and Christchurch and is president of Travis Wetland Trust. He is founding chair of iNaturalist New Zealand, Mataki Taiao. He has served on many Otakaro, Avon River and Opawaho Heathcote River committees. He conceived and helped implement the Christchurch 360 Trail. He serves on the Otamahua Quail Island Restoration Trust, Canterbury WAA Council and Environment Canterbury Biosecurity Advisory Group and has been advisor to several restoration projects. Dr. Merck founded the Centre for Creative Transitions to Sustainable Futures. Dr. Colin Merck, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Inspector Kieran Quartergast of Christchurch for services to the New Zealand Police and the community. Inspector Kieran Quartergast has worked for the New Zealand Police for 48 years and currently manages the Police Southern Emergency Communications Centre. He has shown exemplary leadership, especially during the Christchurch earthquakes and 2019 mosque shootings. He is responsible for the Police's Business Continuity Plan, or BCP, for the Police Communication Centres, including planning and coordinating joint emergency services and related agencies' annual BCP workshops and training exercises. He represents the Police on the National Emergency Communications Working Group, Australia and New Zealand, and until recently sat on its executive board. Inspector Quartergast has fundraised for the Life Education Trust as part of his involvement with the Round Table Service Club. Inspector Kieran Quartergast, please come forward. Mrs. Yosha Leliveld of Dunedin for services to the deaf community and education. Yosha Leliveld has supported the New Zealand Sign Language Teachers Association, NZSLTA, with leadership resource development, 
professional development and mentoring. She has been NZSL senior tutor for the University of Canterbury postgraduate diploma specialist teaching program. She was an evaluator and interviewer for the NZSL proficiency interview. She was vice president of the Deaf Society of Canterbury before relocating to Dunedin, where she established community classes and strengthened the relationship between the Otago Association of Deaf Children and the Otago Deaf Society. She has served on several advisory groups and boards. Mrs. Lelyveld has also worked with Van Ash Deaf Education Centre, Workbridge, Deaf Aotearoa and New Zealand Relay. Mrs. Josha Lelyveld, please come forward. Mr. Patrick O'Connor of Christchurch for services to migrant communities and education. Patrick O'Connor helped found the Pacifica Education and Employment Training Organization, or PITO, and has been its director for the past 28 years. He currently leads the PITO Multicultural Trust. He helps to organize and operate numerous English language classes for new Christchurch arrivals. He has also sat on a number of national and regional advisory groups including the Christchurch Mayor's Working Group for the development of the Christchurch Multicultural Strategy 2017, the Christchurch Refugee and Migrant Board, the New Zealand Ethnic Council, the Advisory Group on Adult ESOL Strategy, and the Ministerial Advisory Group on Refugees and Resettlement. Mr. O'Connor helped establish the Christchurch Intercultural Assembly. Mr. Patrick O'Connor, please come forward. Reverend Tumama Vili of Christchurch for services to the Pacific community. Reverend Elder Tumama Vili is the Minister of Religion for Ekalisia Fa'a Potopotonga Keresiano Samoa or Efakasa in Christchurch. He and his wife run the largest Efakasa church in Christchurch and as Reverend Elder, he is responsible for Efakasa in South Island, overseeing 11 parishes with more than 3,000 members. He has encouraged leadership and mentoring programs for youth and has run transitional events for Pacific families who have recently moved to the South Island. He founded and continues to chair the Samoan Ministers Fraternal. Reverend Vili is chairperson of Mapustanga Early Childhood Preschool, which he established with his wife and patron of the Trades Training Pacifica program at ARA Polytechnic. Reverend Elder to Mama Vili, please come forward. Thank you.
Your Excellency to receive the Queen's Service Medal, Mr. Lester Dean of Invercargill for services to the Pacific community. Lester Dean has been Chief Executive Officer of Pacific Trust Otago, or PTO, during a period of financial uncertainty, restructuring to stay in operation and seeking alternative income streams, such as a joint venture with a local business to establish container housing business Pacific Pods Limited. He was General Manager of Pacific Island Advisory and Cultural Trust in Invercargill. He helped establish an early childhood center for Pacific children, a homework and after-school program at a Pacific Island church, and the TOA scholarship program for year 12 and 13 Pacific students. Mr. Dean teaches the Cook Islands language in Dunedin. Mr. Lester Dean, please come forward. Mrs. Kitty Fenton of Christ Church for services to the community. Kitty Fenton has served as treasurer of the Sumner Red Cliffs Historical Society for 43 years and as wardrobe mistress and dressmaker at the Sumner Theatre Group for 30 years. She has served on the Sumner School Committee and the Sumner Rugby Club Committee. As an active branch member of the Returned and Services Association, she led the installation of a memorial for the RSA members and supporters that passed away as a result of the 2011 Christchurch earthquake. Mrs. Fenton is a life member of the Sumner Community Centre, the Sumner Red Cliffs Historical Society, and the Karamea Museum. Mrs. Kitty Fenton, please come forward. Mrs. Elizabeth Norton of Timuka for services to the community. Elizabeth Norton has supported the Hampton Hall Committee and the Hampton Moraki Promotions Group. She assisted her late husband in organizing the Hampton Heritage Trail Map and Associated Information Board at Hampton Hall. She was a committee member and treasurer for the Hampton 130 Years Celebration. She was secretary of Hampton Community Energy and was involved in setting up the Hampton Recycle Center Top Tip Shop. She was treasurer of the Hampton Market Committee and the Hampton Library and secretary for Hampton Rural Women. Mrs. Norton was part of the team producing a monthly newsletter for the Hampton Moraki community. Mrs. Elizabeth Norton, please come forward.
Mrs. Billy Tohill of Alexandra for services to the community. Billy Tohill has belonged to the Central Otago Pony Club since 1957. She is the club's district commissioner and former head instructor. She started the Clyde Pony Club and has been coach, president and secretary. She has been involved with the Clyde Theatre Group since 1947 and has been musical director for the Alexandra Musical Society. She is an organiser and musical director for the Alexandra Blossom Festival Senior Queen event. She has been an organist for Alexandra's St John the Baptist Church for 60 years. Mrs Tohill provides musical therapy for people with intellectual disabilities through living options. Mrs Billy Tohill, please come forward. Mr. Malcolm Walker of Winton for services to sport and education. Malcolm Walker was a teacher in Central Southland and spent 23 years as principal of Lime Hills School. He chaired the Regional Principal Support Network and sat on numerous education-based committees. He has coached school children's cricket for more than 40 years and volunteered for Central Western Cricket Club. He sat on the Southland Primary Schools Athletics Committee. He has driven local fundraising projects and was a foundation member of the Central Southland Squash Club. He has chaired the Deep Cove Hostel Trust Education Subcommittee. Mr Walker has coached and organised various sports teams and represented New Zealand in Masters cricket. Mr Malcolm Walker, please come forward. Your Excellency, the investiture has concluded. Our honours system is our nation's highest public affirmation of outstanding individual achievement. It reinforces values and behaviours that sustain our communities and help our nation thrive and prosper. And these include service, courage, manaakitanga, and the pursuit of knowledge and excellence. By using their talents to make ours a better society, whether by service to their communities or by their leadership in diverse fields of endeavour, or their commitment to excellence in their own field of expertise, our recipients have set a fine example to our recipients today. It's been a real privilege to hear your stories. 
You have demonstrated determination, commitment and compassion in your daily lives. In your own way, each of you has helped make Aotearoa New Zealand a better place to live. In some cases, your influence and the positive impact of your work has extended beyond our shores. Your actions and the stories we've heard remind me of the words of Princess Tupuya, Tupuya Herangi, when she said, Mahia te mahi he painga mō te iwi. When you work, work for the betterment of the people. On behalf of all New Zealanders, I thank you for your contribution to Aotearoa New Zealand, whether by dedicating your lives to the public good, achieving distinction in your chosen field, or inspiring others with your leadership. Please wear your insignia with pride, knowing that your contributions are recognised and valued, and others are inspired by your leadership. Kia ora hui hui katoa. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings to an end the formal part of today's ceremony. But we, before we break for refreshments, I wonder if you might all stand and join me in singing our national anthem. Defend New Zealand. 